Hey crafters, it's me Jen Evers with Quality Crafts and welcome to another Wednesday where it is a card in just 10 minutes called 1 in 10 by Jen from Mailbox to Masterpiece. So what that means for you guys is that you can send in scraps like these from Mary Beth Robinson. Anything, it doesn't have to match, whatever you want to send in and I will create a card for you in 10 minutes and mail it back to you. So if that's something that you're interested in, Please join our community. You can find everything at koalitycrafts.com or you can search us out at Facebook. All the links are in the description box below. And if you can't find them there, koalitycrafts.com will have all the links that you need there as well. So I'm going to get started on this. This one again is by Mary Beth Robinson. She sent in her scraps. And so I'm going to start the timer here. I have a regular A2 size card, four and a quarter by five and a half. And that's what I'm using today. I'm most interested in using this. This looks like dyed um, cheesecloth. Isn't that cool? I totally want to use that. That is going on there somewhere. And I love all the green tones. So even though these don't look like they match, I think I can make all of this match pretty well. This is already cut really darn close to what I need. So I'm going to use that as my starter piece, my background starter piece. Well, just a little bit of a white border around the edge there. And you know what? I think I'm going to run out of tape while I'm doing this too. Don't forget this week, our sale is not on Saturday. It's literally going to be on Friday during the day. <clears throat> I didn't push hard enough and I left some of my tape on my roll. That's all right. It'll get all, it'll all get wrapped up just fine. So if you want to come to the sale, it's going to be on Friday from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. And I know a lot of you work. I know a lot of you guys won't be able to watch at that time. But I did it on that time at that time on purpose because I have to leave that night for an, um, an appointment with my sister on Saturday morning. And that's almost a four hour drive. So I have to make sure I have enough time to get there. Um, and so you guys can watch it. Friday night. You can watch it Saturday morning, all day Saturday. Um, I'll be coming home sometime on Saturday. So we'll either invoice you, um, we'll probably invoice you sometime on Saturday. It's still going to be due upon receipt. Um, we always give you a leeway till about noon on sun, on uh, Sunday and then everything will be mailed out as usual on Monday. So we want to just keep things rolling. Um, this is really fun. I love all these scraps you have here today. <clears throat> I'm just going to start plopping them down and see what I can make out of this. There's some cute buttons, some other little pieces. I obviously am not going to be able to use everything, but I will use a, you know as much of it as I can. I love these little green pieces. So no worries if you guys can't come on Friday. I totally get it, but you'll have the whole rest of Friday night and Saturday to watch it because usually it's on Saturday anyway so it'll just give you a little more time. Oh that could be dropping from the top how cool is that? This is going to be really really kind of like mixed media. I'm going to put some of this on the inside as well. Probably this one. I think she made that. That's a sticker. So that could go on the inside. Maybe a little bit of this. What else do we have? Oh, one little shiny guy there. No sentiments, but I can make my own. We could plop that in there. That'd be really cute. Maybe if we just plop that in there, we could use this little guy on the front. Oh, he's hard to see. Oh, you could see him on camera. Cool. Okay, so before I get too carried away, I'm just going to have to start gluing some of this down so I have an assemblance of a card here. Let's see if I can get a little bit of this. Oop. This one down. Normally I would use ATG but I'm just going to go ahead and try to use wet glue here. Hopefully I have enough stuff on top that it'll... You won't see the glue. That's my goal. My goal is that you won't see the glue. So we'll have stuff on top of there, no big worries. This one I want to go across the top as well. Hey Deb. Debbie, I am so sorry that you don't like that tape runner. It is my absolute favorite. I don't know what I would do without it. 
I wish I could come to each one of your houses and like show you exactly how to use it and how to get the best experience from it and stuff like that. Before I run out of space and time, I'm going to put this on the inside so I don't forget. So, oops, I'm covering up the timing. I really want to put this on the inside. Yep. And we're just going to add it to one corner and then I'll figure out the rest. This too. It's gonna look really cute. Cute stuff. There's even a little leprechaun hat in here. <laughs> but I don't see any other leprechaun y stuff really, so. This is going to need a little bit of glue, I think, to keep that down on this side. Give it a little bit. Okay. And then this guy. I'm hoping that this will be enough to hold this down to that. Let me just hold it for a second. Isn't the little turtle cute? We'll put him in here too. We're going to put him in here. And I don't think I'm going to add that extra piece in there. I think I like that darker around him so he kind of pops. That's not really floating my boat. So I'm going to put him in there. Let's pop him up though for something a little different. Hello, Jamie. I'm glad you stopped in. It's a cute little card. From the stuff that Mary Beth sent in. And then we've got some of these really cute glittery. So I'm going to use this by just cutting it in half and sticking it in like little random places. So it looks like they're just kind of popping out here. Give it a little shine. much glue kind of squashed out there. All right, can we fit some more? That's starting to look really cute. Can we fit some more something in here? Or is that's probably enough inside, right? That's probably enough. That's going to really cause the a hiccup in the card, so we're not going to do that. This would, this would be cool. Wouldn't it? We could put that little element down there with a little shine behind it. That's just really interesting. I want to do that. Let's add a little bit of interest here. Hold that one down. We'll let that dry for a second. I wonder if we should put something in there. Should we add this little guy too? don't know. I kind of want to put some of that across. Let's cut some of that off. Could we put that in there somewhere? I think it would be really cute. Like coming out of here maybe. Like a little bit of this. A leaf on the inside you guys say? A leaf on the inside.
Okay, here's a leaf. I made a leaf. Let's do a leaf on the inside. Coming from where? Coming from up here, maybe? I think we need another leaf. That looks kind of funny. Another leaf. out of time and I quickly slapped down a piece of that um <laughs> that fun little trim right here that I added to the front to get a little bit of that in there and so I added a piece of that on the side here as well the the inside is kind of interesting <laughs> I like it though it's got a lot of the different green elements in it just like it is like it has on the outside really cute and there's like a little green shiny mirror there which is adorable cute mixed media card i really like the way that turned out i got a lot of fun stuff left here so those of you guys who have been here for a while you know what i forgot about this little guy i was gonna put that little guy on there he could have went in there but anyway we're gonna hold on to him because all this is gonna go into the end of the year crop in the new year scrap box so that we've got fun stuff to play with at the end of the year that's gonna be so cool and at that point i'm gonna find that little dude right so let me make this little pile that will go into that fun little box the rest of the stuff will get put away for another day so if this is something that you really really liked um there are 122 more of these <laughs> so go back and binge watch them they're really fun everyone is completely unique because you never know what you're going to get when people send in their scraps so this one is again from mary beth robison i will stamp my information on the back and mail this out to you mary beth so thank you so much for joining she sent in um, a couple you know what i'm just going to put a little glue here just so this doesn't get torn off in the mail this like it's kind of flipping and flopping and i don't want it, anything to happen to it um so if you want to join in, go ahead and join us on Facebook, Quality Crafts Community Group on Facebook, so that we can get you added to the list if you're interested in doing that. Uh, we have about, if you check the files in that group, you should be able to see a list of the ones that are coming up. We've got about six left, I want to say, five or six. So um, if you want them, if you want to join in there and you want to get on that list, then let us know. Join in, let us know. All righty. So the, for the, as far as the rest of this week goes, I have a really super cool rainbow card for you on Friday for Friday Free Play. I will not be here. I pre-recorded it. It's, you're going to have to stop it in the beginning, check out all the supplies and the measurements. They're there. And then walk through the video with me. Maybe watch it once and then go back and try to do it with me. Um, I have lots of tips and tricks in there. This is a die cut card that you do not need the expensive dies to make. I figured out how to do it by watching another silent movie um, video, which I should link. I can't remember if I did. But anyway, just to suffice that I didn't, I didn't create the card on my own. I watched somebody else recreate it, and then I recreated, re recreated it for you in a four and a half by five, four and a quarter by five and a half A2 size card, so that it would be the same size as all the cards that we typically make and send. So instead of having it be a great big one, it's going to be this size, and so everything has been cut down for you and measured out. So you don't have to do any of that. Just go ahead, watch the beginning, pull all your stuff together, and then make the card with me. Um, as far as that goes, the sale is going to go from 11 a.m. Central Standard Time to 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. I will be leaving to go up north to see my sister, and then you guys can watch the Friday free play at 5, when it, which I'll have it scheduled for. Alrighty, so yeah. Jamie says, thanks to everyone for your understanding for Jen to be there for, for her. So thank you guys so, so much. And I guess as always, if you enjoy this, give me a big thumbs up. Hit that like button in the bottom. And then when the bell notification um, comes up, click that bell and pick all so that you're notified every time we go live on this channel. And that way you won't miss anything. Okay, until then, I cannot wait to see you guys next video.